So England kick off their Euro 2024 qualifying campaign. They went to Naples. They looked at the Italians and thought, we can beat them, and they did by two goals to one. What a great result. Simon, come on. Not bad at all. Under Gareth Southgate, where does this rate, do you think? I mean, should this kind of result reinforce the belief that this England team have got a trophy in them? And not particularly. It should reinforce the belief that they're a good side and have the ability to be able to compete at this level. Um, but I don't think we doubted that anyway. Um, it should reinforce the values that England are capable of winning games at certain stages in the uh, in the proceedings. And this is a qualifying uh, game. It yeah, comes, yeah, with, it comes with a different dynamic. It comes against a side, with due respect, that have recently been beaten by Austria, that are 34th in the world rankings, that have recently been beaten by North Macedonia, that have been, been drawing against... You can only beat what's in front of you. And that's fine, but let's have it right and let's compare and contrast properly. It's a great achievement. To go into Italy and win a game at any time is a great achievement. Right. But it doesn't then get characterised as an ability to win a tournament. No, it but get, you have gets... accused them that whenever England come up against anyone of top-class level, no, they I lose. I said anyone that they shouldn't beat or couldn't beat. Italy are below them in the rankings... They're not a team that once was the Italian side that beat them in the European Championship. They didn't qualify for the last you World Cup. You said top class level. No, I Anyone didn't. Anyone at top class no, level. No, I didn't, because clearly they've beaten teams at top class level. What I said was teams that on paper, there's a debate about whether they can beat. They never beat those sides. There's a debate on paper that they couldn't beat France. There's a debate on paper that maybe they couldn't have beat Croatia in the 2018 World Cup. There's a debate on paper that they couldn't have beaten the Italians in the European Championship, and so they subsequently didn't. In this instance, if you actually pare it down despite other people's views and what I may or may not be saying, if you pare it down, this is a team that's ranked below them in the world rankings, this is a team that didn't qualify for the last tournament, and a team that's recently been beaten by Austria that are 34 places, but or 25 places below them in the world rankings. So whilst it, in isolation, it's a very good result. To go to the most difficult team in the group that you're in and win away from home is brilliant. It's a great result. Well done, Gareth. Well done, the team. But I said yesterday, any one of the results wouldn't surprise me if we drew if we lost and if we won none of them would bring me a surprise because it, Italy are not the side that you think they are do you go with that Carlton do you go with his view yeah I do to be fair I, I do I, I listen if you'd have said to me before the game yesterday England win um, away in, in Naples I would have said uh, I fancied it to be a draw so I think it's a very very good result but in isolation. And, and and I think that's the way it's got to be taken. It's a very, very good result. Um, what, Engl what England have to do and Gareth Southgate have to do, they have to take it one step further and deliver a a major tr trophy. Sure, but is it not worth talking up this result from Oh, last absolutely, night? absolutely. They in went the, to Naples, no, they no, beat them. No, no, absolutely. It's a fantastic result, fantastic for Harry Kane to, to get the record. Uh, I thought in the first half they played uh, very, very well. They're, they're, it's a talented group of players. Um, I, I, I Listen, I disagree with people about the World Cup. I thought against France, I thought we were the better side well, and, 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 and deserved to get the result. And that's well. when you come to a major tournament. These things can happen, right? You know, you look at Brazil, they were fancied to win the tournament, they didn't win the tournament. So you're not nailed on to win True, a major but tournament. I'm from Glasgow and I'm trying to get you two to get behind England no, after no, what you saw We last are behind night. England. Here's the thing. We're all behind England. What we don't want is to be able to elevate something to the stuff of champions and then elevate something that's not quite as good to the stuff of losers. We want to find it in the middle. Because what's going to happen is if everyone leaps on this and go, bang, look at this, this is a well-beating performance. It's a well-beating team. Up will go the expectation. Up will go the media superlatives. And this poor bugger, Gareth Southgate, that already gets enough from people like me criti critiquing for, fa for failing at the last hurdle and never achieving what they potentially could have achieved, is going to get even more of it. So yeah, I think but you have also said when he comes up against an elite manager, he doesn't come out and talk. Correct. Mancini's an elite yeah. manager. And in this instance... In, in this instance... Yeah. OK. And you've got to eat some humble that's a fight. fair observation. But, you, you know, you cut, you, you've got to be able to cut your cloth accordingly. Robert, uh, Roberto Mancini took that Italian side into the European Championships on the back of a 34-game 34, uh, 34 unbeaten run. So they were in good nick. This is not the same Italian side that 18 months ago were That's beating not Southgate's fault. Well, no, or not England's fault. No, but it's also comparing it's Italy, who it's played also last comparing night. Apples of apples, not apples of oranges. You, at the end of the day, you still got to have something to it's work Italy. with. Italy, it's the best Italy field last night, and it's a Jim, great result. Jim, it's a great result. You can't. Result. can't, you can't Jeez, well, I'm talking. You guys are no, no, no. Your, what your no, what you have to do is because you can't talk your own way. The problem, the problem we have sometimes, if and we do this, if we get a player that's doing well, we we all of a sudden look at Marcus Rashford. He's having a fantastic season. Now they're talking about him being world class. We go over the top. Well said. It was a fantastic result, a fantastic performance. But now that has to lead to 
England winning a major trophy. Correct. Harry Kane, big night for him. Um, he becomes England's all-time record goal scorer with goal number 54. Quite amazing. If he retired now, could he be fully satisfied with his innings for what he's contributed to the game? I would think probably yes. This was Harry. You know, a really special night for me personally, I think. Uh, a really special night for the team. The first time England have won in Italy for a long, long time. So uh, to be a part of that is amazing. But uh, I just want to say a big thanks to... All my teammates, um, the staff, you know, my uh, the fans, my family back home, my wife, and uh, yeah, just a really special night for me, a night I'll never forget, and overall just really proud. So uh, thank you to all you guys as well in here, and uh, everyone who's made um, yeah this dream come come a reality. I mean, Carlton, if he did call time in his career today, can he be satisfied with the contribution that he's made? What for England or for in England. total? Oh yeah, for England, for England, but not not league football. I think he he's got to get a move uh, this summer. Uh, I think uh, he, he needs to get to a big club and, and win some win some trophies. And, he, and if he does that, then overall his overall career he'll be satisfied. He's but got he to get to a big club. He's got to get he's to got a to big get club. Out of the well, well, I, I think I think reading between the lines, I think Levy uh, promised him that he could go. Um, and then that didn't materialise when he didn't go to Man City. Yeah. They then brought in Conte and uh, they've not backed Conte in the transfer market. So that hasn't happened. So I think he will, uh, ultimately, I think Conte will go and I think Kane will go in the summer and he needs to go to a club where he can win some trophies. And, and after Carlton being called a defender by the likes of, oh yeah, him, Graham Sooners, <laughs> Declan Rice, did he show that he can be, be the complete midfielder? Well, listen, I'm, I'm a big fan of Declan Rice. I think he, he goes back to the old school midfield players who can do it all. Um, he can get up and down he can dribble with the ball he can pass um, he's asked to play a specific way at um, when he plays for England um, but I think he's a very very good midfield player I don't just see him as a, a defender I've seen him play a game um, last season when he played at, 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 for West Ham against Everton and he basically bossed the show from from uh, tracking back to, um, to to retrieve the ball to to, to uh, passing the ball forward to dribbling with the ball I think he's a very very good midfield player and there's not many around worldwide who can do what he does Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport